Hello, 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 hello. Sagittarius, what is going on with y'all? What y'all so curious about today, baby? Yes, indeed, it is Scorpion Red Tarot. My dear, I am here for you to let you know what the energies are surrounding you for the month of October, baby. I told you in fall, we're going to have it all. Let it fall all into your hand. Let it fall onto your lap. I hope it's a couple of stacks, baby. Yes, God. Come on, call it on in, Father. Listen, if you guys don't know who I am, I am Scorpion Reds. Thank you for visiting my page. Thank you guys for the support. Hitting that like, share, and subscribe button. If you guys want to book a personal and private reading with me, all you got to do is click that about tab on my youtube page you'll see a link for instagram you can send me a message on there and say hey reds i want a book um i have a booking page too you can check that out you can book through there or you, like i said you can just contact me directly if you want to all right and um if you have any questions or concerns about anything you can always email me at scorpionreds at gmail.com if at any point in this video if it's resonating and you guys want to send some love, light, and support, first thing you can do always is clicking that like button and share if you care. You hear me? Share if you care, baby. Come on, Father. Spirit fingers. Spirit fingers. Okay. Go ahead and hit that, that like button, okay? If the spirit moves you to do a little bit more, okay, you can always select one of the options to support the channel on my about tab um you will see the amazon wish list you can also send a dollar to the um paypal or y'all been using cash app a lot so my cash app link is there now um to make it a little bit more easier because i know a lot more people have cash app versus um paypal and i want to shout out to everyone who's been donating through cash app because you guys made it possible today we got brand new decks okay showing some respect yes we got the uh, listen power ranger unicorn come on y'all come on it's this deck is built say with me beautifuls this deck is beautifuls baby yes and it's all because of you said a dollar two or three over to that cash app and we also got the moonology deck here as well thanks to you guys's love light and support so again thank you guys so so much for sticking it in with me we're gonna get into the prayer and we're gonna see what the lord has to say about what's going on in the month of October. So again, you guys, thank you all for the love and light. Let's get into this, okay? So Father God, thank you so much for shining down on us. Thank you so much for spreading the love and light and joy and prosperity through the sign of Sagittarius. Um, you know, we are very curious to see what is coming to us in the fall season because you know in fall we're going to have it all you know it's been a takeover father god the wait is over listen we we ain't waiting we ain't waiting we getting out in the streets and we slanging and banging and we fighting for our glory father god listen they don't know our story ain't nobody going to get in the way of our blessings father god ain't no body going to get in the way of our blessings all right Sagittarius you better let them know what's going on okay father god continue to rain down listen rain down on me father rain down them blessings Oh, my Sagittarius, as Father God, continue to give us strength. And we thank you for every single day that we wake up, every single day that we have 24 hours to improve and start over anew. We thank you so much for all of the forward blessings. And we thank you so much for everything that you have delivered us through and that you have provided us. Because you always provide us with everything that we need, Father God. Listen, they don't even understand. Listen, I don't think that they understand what some of us have been experiencing and we've been triumphing over. So, Father God, thank you so much for all of the blessings in the past, present, and future. Please give us guidance for my Sagittarius's for the month of October and for uh, and for forever and beyond whatever. That ain't that ain't what Buzz like you say, but whatever. Y'all was following me. Y'all was following me. Father God, give me guidance. We're going to figure out what's going on today. And we just want to say thank you again. And we pray. Amen. All right. So let's get some of this moonology oracle energy. Let's find out. Y'all know we just had that new moon. All right. We just had that new moon the other day. All right, so you know spirit ain't come here to play. So let's find out what type of moonology energy we got for my Sagittarius for the month of October. All right, and I'm going to say y'all know, and I'm sorry for the delay, because I had to take a few days off, because you know I, I came down with a cold, honey. I live in the DMV area, so you know when them weather, when them seasons change over, girl, be baking me up, honey. 
Hold on. Hold on. Don't throw it down on the floor. Don't throw it down on the floor now. Let's see what we got here. Let me pick it on up. Ooh! Ooh, we got that Scorpio energy. Ram! Ram! You know we got Scorpio energy right around the corner. Ram! And y'all know we, listen, we, we white elbow to elbows with Scorpio and Sagittarius. Ram! Okay? So this is saying, work through your fears. New moon in Scorpio. All right. It says, work through your fears. I'm being guided to read thine book for you. So let's see what it's saying. What is the message for you? Okay? Let's see what this is saying. So this says, work through your fears. This card suggests a rebirth. Think of your situation as the phoenix that rises from the ashes. As the birth, death, and rebirth. Paragon. Par par Lord Jesus, here go that third grade education. Read it. Par <laughs> Paragram. It says, that's what Scorpio energy is all about. Whatever you've been through, there's a new start ahead. It may be a little dark. It almost certainly won't be rainbows and unicorns. Listen, but we're doing a unicorn reading today, so it's going to be a unicorn the goddamn day, all right? It says, but it will be deep and transforming. This card also suggests that if you know you are magical, then this is the time to work your magic, goddammit, all right? It can also hurl. The start of a sexier time. Ooh, real. Ooh, real. Okay. If you've been experiencing something of a drought and emotional intimacy is on the menu. Scorpion is the sign that likes to go deep into the body, the mind, and the spirit. So when this card comes up, there is nothing superficial about what is coming your way. It says, attune to the moon. Have some sexy time. Ooh, okay, girl. Drop it down and drop it low, honey. It says, additional meanings to this card. It is time for you to let go of the grudges that you're holding. Move on from jealousy. Stop being obsessive. This could mean that you're being paranoid. Make investments. It says, the teaching. Scorpio is the sign of death, rebirth, magic, and shamans. Its energy is a little bit dark, occult, and even scarier. Not all of us can face the shadow, but Scorpios demand it. We sure do, because y'all know I'm a Scorpio. Scorpion reds, to be exact, okay? In fact, it's through working through your dark side that you can get to the light. And the new moon in Scorpio and the appearance of this card at any time at any other time suggest that you need to do this now so you guys I'm gonna keep it 100 I'm gonna keep it 100 and you know me and Sagittarius we've been having we've been having a little a little a little tiff over here because I've been begging you guys to pull through because I have many Sagittarius's that I know and the energy honestly that's been coming up for y'all's readings I know it's resonating because I see people in my life that this shit is resonating with and the people in my life that I know are Sagittarius they're stronger than what the hell they're allowing to happen it's like y'all are not fighting you know what I'm saying it's like I I I, I and y'all are stronger than this. You know what I'm saying? And I could definitely see that y'all are having a lack of intimacy. And, you know, things have just been a little bit dry. It's time for you guys. See, y'all are fucking fire signs for God's sake. Take your power back. Listen, work through your fears. Do not, do not let this moment define you. I need you to get into who you are. Who people know you to be. Y'all are fighters. Y'all are warriors. It is time to fight, baby. It is time to fight. And I don't mean to be hard on you. But if anybody has a Scorpio friend that knows a Scorpio friend, we're not going to tell you what you want to hear. We tell you what you need to hear. And it's not that we're trying to hurt you, baby. What's good, the situation that is y'all are going through is hurting us. See y'all go through it. So we're not trying to be mean. Do you understand? We need you to work through your fears and to get up and fight. You understand what I'm saying? So, 
I know that the stuff that's been coming out in the car, it does resonate for a lot of you guys because I see it. I see it in the people that I love. And I'm waiting for my babies to get up and fight and be the Sagittarius and be that badass bitch and be that badass dude that I know that y'all are and that y'all have always been. And listen, sometimes the heart can make a fool of yourself sometimes. You know what I'm saying? It's time to snap out of it. It's time to work through these fears because change is coming, baby. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust to whatever that was because we rebirthing and we are regenerating ourselves. To be better than we ever been. Do you understand Sagittarius? So let's find out what's going on with this unicorn energy. Because like I told y'all. Y'all are really unicorns. What is this? Awareness. Awareness. Alright. That's all. Spirit is just trying to make you aware of the things right now. That we need to prioritize. And we need to fight through. It says live in the moment. Be conscious of your thoughts. Look for signs and guidance. You see that shining light coming? You see that green? You see that green? It's like abundance. Wealth. Prosperity. God is trying to shine that light on you and to make you aware of how abundant, how generous your heart is. Everyone don't deserve it, baby. Everybody don't deserve Sagittarius. Do you understand what I'm saying? Whoever, I feel like because y'all are having a fear of, listen, what is this? Partnerships. You guys are having fears of working through some bullshit with a partnership. Listen, you see that darkness around that moon? It's time to go to a new phase. You got to get over. You got to get over some things. And one thing about Scorpios, we're not scared to cut people out of our life. You know? We love hard and we will put up with a lot of bullshit, but when we, we're not going to lay down and just take the shit, but for so long, we will sting your ass. And we will leave your ass dead and won't care what happened to you because we moving on. You understand? So we don't know if y'all survived this thing or not because we ain't looking back to find out what the fuck happened to you. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, if you didn't put us in a predicament, where we had to fight through fears to sting someone, to remove ourselves for our survival. Oh, because we're not going to let you defeat us. Oh, no, 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 no. And like I said, once we sting your ass, we don't give a fuck what happened to you. We ain't looking back to find out what happened to you, bitch. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? So, you guys are, you know, having to open up your eyes. And it's not, and, and, and I really do feel like, it's not even just, it's people in your life, honestly, that are making you guys aware of the toxicity of certain partnerships that you've been indulging in. You know, and it, you need to be aware of, listen, these, these, these people and these things are getting in the way of your abundance. And we just shine a light on it. Like, don't fight with us and don't, you know, because... I'm hearing that a lot of people that really, really love you, um, y'all might be taking out some of y'all frustrations on people that don't deserve it and not aiming at your target that really deserve to get that energy. You know what I'm saying? So be aware of the partnerships that you're connecting yourself with. You understand? This is that crown chakra. This is that crown chakra. That's that purple. That's that crown chakra. That is that understanding. Okay, your crown is going to help you to heal from personal losses and grief. You know, you have to work through your fears. Nick, with that purple again, it's certain shit and certain people and certain partnerships that you're being made aware of that it's time to let go. Sometimes you got to sting people, even though you don't want to. It's for your survival. And you can't look back and worry about what happened to them because that's not that's not for you to do. You got to keep moving forward. Because at the end of the day, if they would have never put you in a predicament to have to defend yourself and to remove these people out of your life, you know, <laughs> Scorpio don't look back. Scorpio don't care if they survive this thing. They should have never put themselves in a predicament to be stung in the first place. And right now it's time for y'all to get that stinger out. You got to rub shoulders a little bit with your Scorpio friend and like, 
take up a little bit of some of that energy. It's time for y'all to fight. Okay? Don't fight with us. Fight with the people that you need to fight. <laughs> Not with us. You know what I'm saying? So, and honestly, I'm really being urged to tell y'all, man, if y'all been taking out y'all frustrations on people that don't deserve it, people at your job, your family, your friends, your colleagues, like people that are just pointing out like, man, you shouldn't be dealing with this. And then y'all snapping up. Y'all need to apologize. Because y'all are going to lose a lot of good people because you scared to let go of one bad person. Do you understand what I'm saying? I, I really want y'all to listen to what I'm saying because y'all have been snapping on people just because they're making you aware. This says, live in the moment. Be conscious of your thoughts. Look for signs and guidance. People are just pointing out the signs for you. They're just trying to make you aware. Don't hurt the people that's only trying to make you aware of how blessed and how favorable you are and how beautiful you are. You know? For you turn around and you don't got nobody. And you got to fight this war by yourself. That ain't what you want to do, you know? So, again, it says partnership. Teamwork will give you better results. Find trustworthy people to partner with. Build up a talented support team. We've been trying to support you, but you putting your sting, you pull your sting out on the wrong people. And I really, really want you guys to be aware you know, we're just trying to, we're just trying to help. You know, and I know, and I know this is for somebody. This is for somebody. Because I'm going to say, I've done it myself. You know what I'm saying? Like, certain people just pointing out things that you need to be aware of and you need to see. Like, this person doesn't love you. This person is taking it back. And it's hard to hear. It is indeed. But we're not trying to hurt you. They hurting you, baby. Why are you going to fight with us? The one that's just trying to be on your team, but you won't even stand up to the people that you need to stand up to. Like Medea said, sometimes we be holding on things that God himself is trying to take away from us. You're not doing nothing but hurting yourself, baby. And if you think for, if you think for any second of a thought in your mind that the people that really love you Seeing you not being strong and not working through these fears and to cut certain shit out that's hurting you. If you think it's not hurting them watching you go through this shit and then you turn around and attack us because we're making you aware of it. That shit, it is stinging. Use your sting on the right people before you turn around and you don't have nobody, you know. And I know that message was for a couple of people. And again, I'm not your enemy. I'm your friend. I'm not here to be no fake ass motherfucker. And tell you, I I'm not. I'm not. I'm not here to do that. You understand what I'm saying? This could even just, and this ain't even just about no relationships, man. This could be about family members that's using you. These these could be about other fake ass friends that ain't really your friends. Do you understand what I'm saying? And around you because of your connections and things like that. These could be a bullshit ass job. And it's like, baby, you struggling. You need to quit that job. And, you know, you need to work through your fears. Like, you're better than that. What, you think you can't get another job? Let your friends help you. Listen, I'm your friend. Give me your resume. Let me, let me, if you scared to put your shit, give me your resume. I'll put that shit out there for you. You know what I'm saying? But when people start calling, I can't. I can't go on a job interview for you. You got to work through your fears and you got to know that you deserve better. You know? So, this ain't just about no relationship. I'm making you aware of the shit all across the board that you need to cut out. Major things are being removed and ended so that you can be rebirthed. Another sign of the Scorpio is the Phoenix. The Phoenix. Still I rise. You understand? It's time, baby. Oh, it's time. Mm, I feel that nervousness in my stomach. 
Come on now. Let's see what we got here. Let's clarify this. Let's use this unicorn energy and see what we got for my unicorns. My fiery Sagittarius unicorns. Clarify working through your fear. The new moon in Scorpio. Awareness and partnerships. Clarify this energy for my Sagittarius's. Ooh, temperance. Yes, baby. And we got the eight of pick. Come on, we better work. Let me see you work it out. Do, 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 do. Come on, baby, work it out. Listen, that temperance. There you go. You see that? Listen, your wings are open. Your wings is ready to take flight. Okay? This is you having patience. This is you having faith. This is you literally being reborn because you know typically in the temperance card this is a woman coming to god bare naked bearing their soul bearing their heart like saying god i know i ain't perfect i know i ain't perfect but i'm coming to you bare with my heart and my soul i much i might not got much to give but i have my heart and my soul and my pure intentions god purify me fill me up you see that water? Fill me up, Father God. So that I can have this faith and this hope to bring forth these blessings that I've been fighting. <laughs> I've been fighting against myself to receive. Only thing the Lord asks you for is the faith of a mustard seed, baby. You see your wings is ready to take flight. When I'm trying to tell you that a light has been lit in, all right? You are a fire sign. You are literally walking into a new phase in your life. It ain't for the weak hearted. Ain't nobody said this was going to be easy. The only thing God asks you is that trust him. And if he's trying to remove shit, let him remove it. You was born into this world with you, yourself, and that's it. Your birth was a miracle. Have you ever seen someone... Be pregnant and like a baby is literally it's a little mustard seed in the stomach and grows and grows and grows. And then by the time you give birth, like you can't even believe that a human being just came out of my body. Like seriously, that takes patience. That takes you nurturing yourself. That takes hope. That takes belief. You understand? Takes belief. Sometimes you be walking around pregnant and you know there's something in there. But until you feel a kick, a little flutter, it's like almost just your imagination until you actually see your body like growing. And you're like, oh my God, this is real. All of this is real. These blessings that God are trying to give you is real. You understand? It is time to rid ourselves of anything that's holding us down. It is time to work through these fears, baby. God got something for you. It's time for you to stop fighting with him. Release it. Re be reborn. Okay? Be reborn. Don't be scared just because you don't know what the future look like. Don't none of us know what the future look like. But we still got to wake up tomorrow. Listen, we still got to get up. And go to work every motherfucking day. We don't know when we go to work if that goddamn co-worker going to get on our goddamn nerves or not. But we still got to go out there and get this money. We still got to put that work in. You understand? This is showing me that not only are you building that faith. And you are not only just. Not only did you drink the water. But you're pouring it into your physical world. You are nurturing your physical world. To manifest everything that is yours. Everything that's been taken. I want it back. I want it back. And I'm willing to work for it. This is you showing God, listen. I'm sorry I was fighting with you before. I'm willing to work for you to show you. I'm serious about it. I'm serious. <laughs> Y'all better come the fuck on. Give me some more guidance. What is this? Listen to Eight of Swords. Y'all have been stuck in a mental prison, not able to see, honestly. They go another eight. There's another eight, baby. Not only that, you was not on sturdy ground. It's like 
You couldn't get your foot in together. You couldn't see. If you don't have no grounding and you can't see, it's hard to believe, baby. Some of y'all have really been in a prison. In a prison. Okay? And maybe some of you guys have been trying to have faith and hope and working towards a situation where there's imprisonment. You know? And if that's what you've been doing, I want you to reevaluate. Reevaluate your partnerships and be aware of what you're working towards. You know what I'm saying? Now, I see people working towards their blessings, but there might be people working towards learning more lessons. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Three of Cups, yes. It's time for you to release yourself. Listen. Release yourself. Listen, even if feet is bound, even your feet is bound, so there's no movement. This unicorn can't see, can't walk, damn near can't talk. And, you know, I, even though that this Three of Cups did not come out with it being reversed, I want to acknowledge that there could be a a third party situation here. You know what I'm saying? There very much so could be. Let me um clarify this three of cups. Because you guys could be in a mental prison about trying to reconnect with someone where there's no stable footing. There's no stable grounding. Like you're not able to see clearly, you know? And it's like y'all keep walking into this partnership, having faith and having belief and trying to work on some shit that is not good for you. Keep trying to reconnect and rejoice and feel an old feeling. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like you trying to fulfill a void of something that was the past. You know what I'm saying? But there's three people on this card. You understand what I'm saying? There's three people on this card. So be careful about what you're tying yourself to. You know? Clarify this three of cups for me, please. Clarify this three of cups. Clarify this three of cups for Sagittarius, please. What is it? The devil. Bitch, I fucking knew that shit. Now listen. I told you, didn't I tell you? Stop trying to have a reunion and celebrate and get back with someone that is like literally weaving this web of having like this spider web and just trying to capture you back into a toxic ass situation. What is third party bullshit? This is an addictive situation. This is. Um, a codependent situation. This person is probably only with you because they need you for something. They know that they can do whatever the fuck they want to do because you won't release the connection. This motherfucker got you bound at the hip. They feel like they could walk all over you and do whatever the fuck they want to do. You going to fight for this connection. You are tied and you are bound in prison and it's like to the point where you making the situation look beautiful that ain't beautiful you understand what i'm saying this motherfucker like this stupid motherfucker don't even see what they're doing i got them right where i want them the devil is right in the middle of this connection three of cups is three of y'all right there too and y'all have been i'm trying to tell y'all y'all have been Literally pushing away and fighting everyone that is trying to make you aware of this toxic ass relationship. How many friends y'all lost? Some of some of y'all not even cool with y'all family members no more. Like you can't even go run back to your family to help you with this shit no more. Because they tired of fucking with you. You understand? Because every time they try to help you and they point out the obvious truth. That this is a toxic situation. That someone is just using you. That this person is cheating on you. Whatever it is. 
you bite our head off. So they leave you right there with the devil. And y'all got to be careful of that. You have to be careful of that because I'm trying to tell y'all, some of you guys are jeopardizing y'all jobs. Y'all taking this negative energy with you to work. And y'all co-workers, like y'all be, listen, some people don't even want to go to lunch with you no more. Some people don't even want to hang with you no more because it's draining. It's draining. You think it don't hurt your family and your friends to see you keep fighting for this connection? Look three cups right here you listen every time this person come hop back in your life you just happy you think shit's gonna be different it ain't different this motherfucker got you right where they want you okay you gotta work through your fears you understand you gotta have faith you not only do you have to have faith you have to be aware of these partnerships build up a talented team of support you know, teamwork will give you better results. Find trustworthy people to partner with. This motherfucker ain't trustworthy. And this person is going to be sure that you destroy every motherfucking relationship that tries to get you away from them. Are you helping this person do their bidding in your life? Keep on snapping on your family. Keep on snapping on your co-workers when y'all end up getting fired. When your people that are your friends end up firing you and they don't want to work with you no more. They tired of getting stung. But you don't even have the ability to sting the motherfucker that is hurting you the most. I want y'all to be careful. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because on this side, this is someone right here that has patience and they are getting their self balanced. They have faith and they understand what God is trying to do. And they're working towards breaking this connection because they couldn't see. You know, they weren't grounded. They are just now getting aware to their blessings. They are just now realizing that these people that were trying to help them were not trying to harm them. And they are apologizing to them because they were trapped and bound in a fucked up situation, mentally enslaved. Keep trying to connect with the devil. They're aware of it now. They're working through their fears and they are honestly apologizing. They are committed to this process. That's some. Um, the other ones are literally having faith and working towards a situation that is going to destroy y'all. And y'all going to wake up and y'all not going to have nobody. And when you finally get tired and you recognize that you've been playing with the motherfucking devil the whole time. And you try to go back to these partnerships and these friends and family that had your back. And you realize that you in this boat all by yourself. Don't say I didn't warn you. What is this? The four diamonds. This dark horse is literally only with you from what they can gain from this connection. It's all about material stability. You understand what I'm saying? It's about what they can gain. It's about a come up. This is someone that ain't willing to go out there and do the work to ensure the success of their own. They'd rather just take it from you. They don't want you to see what they're doing. <laughs> Anybody that is trying to tell you anything different, they clog your ears so that you can't hear them. They feed your mind with poison to make sure that you fight them off. They don't even have to do the fighting. They fucked your brain up so that you would fight them off yourself. Unstable footing. You ain't got nobody else but them. Do you hear me? Y'all be careful. Be careful. Be careful. It's a dark horse, baby. A dark horse. Look. A dark horse. You see how this motherfucker... Look. You see how he's lighting his tail? He already got him. He already got him. And as long as he got him, he got you. Because you ain't willing to let this one go. 
You better work through your fears and you better wake up and see when you being used. I don't see no love on this table. I see manipulation. I see toxicity. I see addictions. I see control. I see emotional and mental abuse. Okay? And you see how that little, you see this, that's that awareness. Again, yet again. And I know a couple of y'all done clicked off of this video because I'm telling y'all something that y'all don't want to hear. It ain't my problem. You the one mixed up with this motherfucker. You ain't got to listen to me if you don't want to. You don't have to, you know? So y'all could go skip off to one of them other readers. It's like, oh, he's coming back. Yeah, he is coming back. This motherfucker is coming back. <laughs> But they ain't telling you why this motherfucker's coming. Like, they, is they really going to tell you this? Seriously. Stop stinging people that's trying to help you. Help yourself. Free yourself. Like, do you hear me? Please free yourself. This is the Six of Hearts. This is the Divine Masculine card. This is the Masculine Energy card. Okay? And you see this little wheel? Y'all go round and round. Going round in circles. Oh, round and around we go. Going in circles. Listen. Keep chasing this person. Looking for a wheel of fortune. Thinking this person is going to change. This person is only with you for material gain. Only with you for material gain. And again, a picture of a dark horse. Three in and the three of fucking spades. Listen, I, I can't. What you want me to tell you? This is chess, not checkers. So if you thought for some some reason that this person was around you for pure intentions because they really loved you i am letting you know look at this look look let me read y'all what the three of spades mean so y'all please i don't want y'all to think that i'm trying to hurt you at all only thing I'm, I'm here to do a job and my job is to help you not to keep you not to keep you in la la land the three of spades traditionally a card of loss deception lies misunderstanding confusion a growing problem a worsening condition deterioration disease infection third party interference a third wheel here go that wheel going around in circles <laughs> With this masculine energy. It says a third wheel meddling a love triangle. What goes on behind the scenes. Trials, tribulations, a test, an exam. And y'all better watch y'all ass. Because it said what? Disease, deterioration, infection, a test, an exam. Y'all keep on fucking around. Keep on. Keep on, baby. And again, let me read this four of diamonds for you, just in case you think. Four of diamonds. Financial stability. Financial papers. Rented property. This is rented property. I told you, this is a third-party situation. It is on borrowed time. Huh. Let me tell you. <laughs> Oh, a license, a certificate, a ticket, a bank account, a strong box, a checkbook, a wallet, jewelry box. <laughs> you are nothing but a come up. Wake up. Awareness. Be aware of people that you were allowing in your space, baby. You are not doing nothing but hurting yourself. And you're hurting the people that love you. You got to work through this. Were you scared of what your life would look like without this person? Like, seriously. We're, we're in, the, in, the, in the name of Jesus. The six of hearts. 
a love relationship, a friendship, emotional security, gallantry, courage, faith, trust, compassion, an emotional connection, a past life or soul connection, male energy, a male lover, a bachelor, an unmarried man, anything genuinely associated with the male gender, such as a toolbox, a tie, facial hair, etc. This past life or soul connection, toxic as fuck. This person is only with you because you are a cash cow. A cash cow. There's a third party interference. We've seen it up here. I already told you. You keep trying to reconnect and revive a situation with the fucking devil. And if you don't watch it, don't be surprised if you get a motherfucking... <laughs> if you get an exam that don't come out the way you want it. Okay? You like green eggs and ham, huh? You keep on eating that green eggs and ham. Keep on eating poison. Don't tell them, don't say I ain't told you so. Don't shoot the messenger. I'm not about to keep playing with y'all. I'm not going to feed y'all fairy tales and lies. I need y'all to fucking listen because I love you. And I don't want you. It ain't this person. You are hurting yourself because it ain't just me to try to make you aware of this shit. Other people have too and you chew and bite their heads off. Tell me I'm lying. Ever that or you just outright just don't even talk to them no more. Let's see what spirit got to say about this. Spirit, what do you got to say? Ugh. Crystal clear intentions. You need to get your intentions together. You need to find out what it is that you really want. This same energy come out every month. And every month I'm not seeing no changes. See what's going to end up happening here. Y'all going to end up getting a test result or something real fucked up. That is... Irreversible, you can't change. That's going to make you, you ain't going to have no choice but to open your eyes to this situation. Some people be holding on to something that God Himself is trying to tear from you. It says, Be clear about what you desire and focus on it with, unwaver with unwavering faith. If you know that you deserve better, it's time for you to get that temperance together and that eight of pentacles, and you need to work towards. What it is that you really want. Are you really happy Sagittarius? You are not. Like come on baby. It's temporary satisfaction. This person come back around and act like they want you. And they want to be back in your life. You be happy for about 10 minutes. And then as soon as you. <clears throat> outdoors. You need to look outside the box. You need to go outside and get some fresh air. Like I really do feel like it. You need air. You need to breathe. This situation is suffocating. It says go outside, get some fresh air, and connect with nature. Relieve stress and gain new and creative ideas. You guys need to look outside of this situation, baby. You got to. You got to get your intentions together. You got to figure out what it is that you really want. Because we can't fight this fight for you. Do you understand what I'm saying? And not only are you hurting yourself, but you're hurting the people that are loving you, that are watching you go through this shit. Teaching and learning. Keep an open mind. Learn new ideas. Then teach these ideas to others. You understand? This is a teaching and learning experience. Once you overcome this situation... You'll be able to help others. But I don't want you to be the cautionary tale to everybody that know you. Oh, you don't want to end up like Brittany. You don't want to end up like Samantha. <laughs> you don't want to end up like Chantel. You know shit. Chantel kept fucking around with her ex. And, she, and you know he motherfucker gave her a disease and shit. And now the whole neighborhood know. <laughs> I don't want you to be that cautionary tale. I'm serious. This situation, not only are you going through a hard experience, going through this teaching and learning situation, but everyone around you is watching you. 
And then learning from the outside, looking in. They don't want to be like this. They don't want to be like this. And they're watching you make these mistakes. And they're learning from watching you. Because this is not what they want. This is not what they want to do. I want you to be on the other side of this. I want you to be the one that's strong enough and that got yourself tempered and with that eight of pentacles. Put that work in and release yourself from this so that you can help other people. What is this? The call. <laughs> Judgment. They go that Scorpio energy again. It's Judgment Day coming. You need to get your intentions together. Because when God calls everyone that has something to do to, with the situation. Listen, God already know who he playing with. God already know. And this energy could be vice versa. So if you're a Sagittarius man that's dealing with a toxic ass female, you need to release yourself from her. Because at the end of the day, when judgment day comes, God is going to ask you, well, what did you really do to change the situation? Did you hurt people that loved you and hurt yourself? Or were you fighting to let go? Do you understand what I'm saying? God sees and knows all. It ain't nothing that you can hide from spirit. As above, so below. What you put out, you get back. So if you keep feeding this situation, it's going to feed on you. And like I said, it's going to deteriorate and it's going to fester. I don't want y'all to end up in nobody's motherfucking free clinic. Message. Everyone gets called to judgment. Everyone gets called to judgment. Everyone has to answer for their intentions. Everyone. Ten of water. Y'all might be dealing with a Pisces. Or you might be dealing with a Scorpio. There's a lot of water sign. Y'all are definitely fucking with a water sign around this motherfucker. Most definitely. Ten of cups. You know? I need you to bring this peace and this balance into your life. This is also represents faith for me with Buddha right there. I need you to tap into your faith. Because, no, we all are going to be judged accordingly. You cannot say, oh, well, this person did this to me. I couldn't see. I was. I felt trapped up. In you ain't trapped. God's giving you too many resources, too many chances to open up your eyes, to see what the situation was. You can't, you can't blame or make any excuses. You... You know what you're doing. You understand what I'm saying? You got to use your faith. You got to get your emotions together to bring in this happy house, this happy home, this encouraging relationship, this abundant love and light and this happiness. You have to pay attention to your intentions. Have crystal clear intentions about what you really want. You understand? To bring peace in your life. The Ten of Cups is also an ending. Do you understand what I'm saying? It might be time for something to end so you can start back at ground. Actually, actually zero. That full energy. Sometimes we got to take risk. Because you know what? Right here, I don't even see. But this Ten of Cups, I don't see no kids. I don't see no dog. I don't see no White House. I don't see no picket fence. This is literally showing after Judgment Day, only thing you got left is your faith. Where your friends at? Where your family at? This is someone having to find their own happiness in the resource of their faith. In order to be the fool to start a new phase all over again. Because this one is showing me someone was left alone with their faith after Judgment Day. You get me? 
What do you believe in? You believe in trying to obtain your own happiness? You know? This is someone having to rely on their own faith. Someone is being left to having to get their emotions together. And I see a lotus flower on his belly too. Yeah, you had to come through the mud through this shit. Give me some guidance in regards to love. We got one more spread and we about. Actually, I might I might pull out that that's um my Santa more more uh my Santa Morte deck. Cause y'all need to go through a transformation. It says the past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. Again, this is that judgment day. <laughs> and that is that's why that Ten of Cups is right there. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. That's that. Following it with faith. Like, this is literally, I, I'm trying to tell y'all, some some of y'all not going to listen. Like, God is literally going to have to snatch this situation from you guys. Y'all are going to have to face judgment day. God is going to have to remove this. I, I don't see y'all doing it on y'all own. I don't see it. I don't see it. Something is going to happen where you're going to be forced to work through your fears. And left with your faith. I'm, I'm, listen, mark my words. Hard head make a soft ass. That's all I'm going to say. All right, let's get some numbers. With some spiritual numbers here. I knew that this shit, and I prayed really hard before I even turned my camera on because I really wanted, listen, healing. Healing and parenting. Y'all need to focus on this healing stage right now. And y'all need to put your focus on your kids. And that's it. Healing and parenting. Okay? Like seriously. And I know that's blue. That's blue. It's a throat chakra. You need to understand the words that are being spoken to you right now. You know? Seriously. And that solar plexus chakra, you need to figure out what you want to do. You know? And let that energy flow through your body. Like those spiritual waters from that temperance card. I need you to drink from that spiritual pool. And like I told you up here, I need you to pour some of that nourishment onto your land into your actual life you need to become it put it in your body drink the water but i also need you to sprinkle some of that spiritual water around your environment okay it's time for you to listen and heal stop fighting with everybody that's telling you the truth you're only hurting yourself. Focus on your children. Especially y'all that got children. What are you teaching your children right now? Y'all teaching them that this toxic shit is normal? How are you going to feel when your children get over and then they end up in a situation just like this? Who going to be responsible for that? Who taught them that this shit is normal? Who the one that's showing them, listen... No matter what my environment is around me, you ain't even in stable groundings. You don't even see how this shit is affecting your children. You don't even see what you're teaching your children. Only thing they see is mommy or daddy keep running back to the devil. And finding joy in it. Temporary joy. You'll be happy for 10 minutes before this motherfucker come and show his goddamn face to you once again. Going around in circles. You need to heal and focus on your children. Listen to what I say. I will not speak you no lie.
that's going over here. Because I wasn't even going to do this because this deck ain't even a part of this, of this spread. Like, I'm, I'm having to do extra for y'all because y'all need it. Because y'all have to go through this death. This is, scorp this is so scorpion energy right here. We are all about death. A rebirth. I know this deck looks scary. It's not at all. Not at all. You need to get to the bone marrow, the fiber of yourself to help you pull through this transition. Let's get into this. Father God, please give me guidance for my Sagittarius. Please help us through this transformation, Father God. Please give us a word. Please give us healing. Please give us truth. Please give us enlightenment. Please help us through this transformation for my Sagittarius. Okay. Whew. God. Y'all got my fucking anxiety burning me up, bitch. And I'm talking about burning. How many cards? The light. Listen. You see this? What's going on in your life is a reflection of what you're doing. You can't blame nobody but yourself for what is going on in your life. What is going on is a reflection of your own actions. Emotions. Get your emotions together. What are you asking the universe for? Are you asking the universe? Are you calling in something that only is bringing you pain and chaos? What paint? What picture are you painting in your life? This is what spirit is bringing into light. Light. Illuminating to you. You are only dealing with you are creating. Gotta look in the man in the mirror. This is the world that you are harvesting. Do you understand? <laughs> this is emotions. Look, look, everything that you're saying, everything that you're asking God for, what it got you doing. Look, you see them vines trapped up bound. The reason why you're crying is because you're doing it. You are doing it. You. 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 You are the cause of your own chaos. Hmm. Ay, Dios mijo. Father God. Please, 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 please. I beg of you, God. Please help Sagittarius through this transition. They don't even understand what they're doing. They don't even understand what they're teaching their children. They really don't. They really don't. God. I was, I, I this really hurts me. Like, y'all don't even understand how much it hurts me every time. Every time I do Sagittarius. I, I dread doing y'all's reading because... I want y'all to change. Y'all are not. You are not doing shit to change nothing. Y'all are not. Y'all are not. You cannot blame nobody but the man in the mirror for everything that is happening. Everything that is happening is your fault. Yours. And yours alone. Let me read y'all this card so y'all don't think I'm fucking tripping. Let me read this to you. This is, this is killing me right now. This is fucking killing me. Flux. This card is the last card in the world of formation. It shows us that we can only obtain self-realization and do significant things in the world if we understand that our presence is generated and connected by every kindness and every crime of the past in a continuous flow. We are like an antenna that can receive and transmit the original light that comes from the eighth card of, of, of emanations. The light. Okay? Hmm. Which also reaches us through our parents, our grandparents, our ancestors, and through the forms of we have given our gods remember that you are the one in the present 
holding your future and that if you want this future to be positive you must first look inside yourself because every action that you decide to take in this world is nothing but a reflection of yourself listen again <laughs> Every action that you decide to take in this world is nothing but a reflection of yourself. It's a reflux of what you are doing. If you want positive, you have to make positive change. If you are not doing nothing but continuously repeating the same cycles, you can't blame anybody but the man in the mirror. Flux. Flux. Ay, Dios. Mm, mm, mm. Clarify this brand for me and get up out of here, baby. And I can't take no more. I cannot. Clarify the light, flux, emotions, and chaos. Mm. The sun. You're right? This is about illumination. This is about happiness. This is about joy. This is about abundance. This is about creation. This is about rebirth as well. Okay? It's about rebirth as well. I need you to take harness of your happiness. I need you to love who really loves you. Your parents, your friends, your family, they love you. They've been trying to pour. Hey, go to alarm. They have been trying to pour love into your brain. Do you understand? They want you to listen to Tender Wands. They want you to put down this burden with this Knight of Wands in reverse. This person don't mean you nothing no good, baby. This person is in and out of your life. Like a moth to a flame burned by the fire. You are attracted to something that is really not good for you, baby. Y'all know what the King of Wands is, what the Knight of Wands is. This is someone that's only in while the getting is good. And as soon as they drain you of all your resources, they are running out in the streets trying to find another victim. You think this person is doing anything better than anybody else? No. I already told you who they connected to. You see how the, you see how the devil is a light in his tail? Every fucking person that this person comes into connection with is bound and trapped into the same pit of flames that this man or this woman is in because of their connection to low life energy. Listen. Again. It's time for you to wake up and see the light. The light. The light. It is time for you to fight. Work through your fears. And to pull yourself out of this darkness. Pay attention to your reflection. Okay. Pay attention to what you are creating. The chaos that you are creating. Pay attention. These people that love you, and this is your family, this is your friends, baby. They've been trying to nurture you, and they've been trying to love you through this situation. Baby, release and let go. Let go and let God. Let go and let God. Sagittarius, I love you, baby. And I'm sorry. I don't mean to grill in y'all ass like this, but I, I got to. I can't, I'm, not, I'm not about to sit here and keep playing with y'all. And I'm serious. Next month, I don't want to see this shit no more. I want to see change, y'all. Is that too hard to ask? Is that too hard to ask? I'm begging you. Like, I am begging you. And if there's any of my friends watching this, look, 
I, 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 got, I got a few Sagittarius friends that we don't even talk like that no more. And I don't, I don't even fight with them. You don't want to talk to me? I know because you're embarrassed. And I don't, I particularly don't want to see you going through this shit. I'm glad that y'all cut me out. Deal with this shit by yourself. Can't nobody pull you out of this but yourself. If I could jump my ass in the flames and snatch you out of this bullshit, oh, I'd have did this shit a long time ago. But every time I try to help this motherfucker, you fighting with me. Instead of fighting back with the devil. I ain't going to keep fighting with you. You want to keep playing with this motherfucker? Keep begging and want to reconnect with the devil? Baby, I'm going to leave you to your own madness and your own emotions and the own chaos that you were creating. You know what you're doing. All right? So, I'm going to leave that where it's at. Look at you. Look at you. Be careful what you asking for. Look at you. I'm gone.